So after 18 hours, we finally hit the driveway and here's this sign, Buck Paradise Outfitters. There's a beautiful lodge here and the first thing we do is get out, get unpacked, get the bow out and shoot because we're heading right into the woods. Well, the bow is still on. I'm gonna grab some lunch here and get out to the bear stand. Sounds like they've got a lot of bears around, so can't wait, we'll see you in the woods. We're located up in northwestern Saskatchewan. We're just right where the farmland meets the fringe of the provincial forest and that's just a special area and you know living up here all my life uh, I, I didn't start guiding till I was probably 25 26 years old and I guided for about five years and I was just like you know I live in too good of a place not to be doing this myself so we started up Buck Paradise Outfitters and it's been one of the best things that we've ever done and we're very proud of it and uh, we'd love to share it with all of you. Bear season is one of my favorite of the three hunts just because you get to build such a relationship with your with our guests and uh, they come here as strangers and um, by Sunday when you say goodbye, <laughs> there's sometimes tears. We're about to head back to the bait for our first night's sit. They're gonna bait it up, we're gonna get up in the tree and hopefully some bears show up tonight. Beautiful weather, great night to be bear hunting. The sun was slowly dipping down and this time of year it stays light till about 10 o'clock. So your prime time is probably about three hours compared to the fall where you're dealing with maybe a half hour where you really expect something to happen. And it just so happens that in that window we had a very nice bear show up. came walking down the trail, but he didn't commit to the bait. He just wasn't interested in it, and he skirted around us. But either way, great encounter for the first evening, and really excited to get back out hunting the following day. Bears come out of hibernation uh, two weeks before we can start hunting them. So in that two weeks, we're out there baiting them with high energy foods. So uh, they end up coming into the baits really well and they, they love what we feed them. All right, he got all the bait loaded. Gonna go pick up the guys, head out to the evening hunt and should be a good hunt this afternoon. Hey, Cole. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. We just finished looking at the pictures and I think, believe that big black one is the one that you saw last night. Pretty good Looks bear. like them, yeah, it's heavy bear. Yeah, and this is a, another good cinnamon that just showed up on the bait. Oh, very cool. Yeah, I think he's about 280 pounds or so. Yeah, I think the best bet is for you to sit tonight at the okay. bait. Yeah, yeah huh? two good bears coming in, you yeah. never know. I mean, last night was slow, but yeah, huh? every day is a new day in the bear yeah. woods, so. Should get her done tonight. Let's hope, yeah. load up, let's go.
We like setting out a beaver when we're setting out hunters on here because they like hunting them in the wild naturally. So when we put them here, it's just like putting out a cake for them, I guess. And it really works really good. As soon as we got settled in, there was already a bear. Looked like a nice bear, came right into the bait. Looked like a beautiful, probably 200, 250 pound black bear, real nice hide on it. So the show started quick and we sat back and enjoyed it because it wasn't long and bear number two showed up. This bear we started calling the Mohawk bear. You can see why, he's missing a lot of fur, he's rubbed up bad coming out of hibernation. sweets and one who likes meat. They're playing nicely now, but that could change quick. So the Mohawk bear chased the first bear off and, and that bear kind of circled around, ended up going into the marsh, looked like it was eating some grass and all of a sudden that thing just whipped around and took off. And that usually means one thing, there's a bigger bear coming in. I've got my bow in hand and I'm shaking. And I'm just gonna let him do his thing. He doesn't know we're in the tree, so I just let him get in, he settles in, he lays right down. Well, the one thing you don't wanna do with a bow is shoot a bear laying down. A lot of times their leg comes up, it blocks their vitals, you've got a smaller window to hit, and you know the bear doesn't know we're there, so we're just gonna sit back, wait for him to stand up, maybe chase that other bear off and present us with a shot. right about six o'clock right now. The arrow went right through him. He just curved around this marsh. I saw blood bumping out of him. But, and we heard him crash. We're just gonna give him time. We'll get the guides in here and uh, go recover us. A great Saskatchewan black bear. Hey, right on, man. <laughs> How's it going? Good. That's a good call. I like to hear that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, arrow's sitting right there. Yeah, I see that nice he lighted on. Right down that path, I saw blood pumping probably about 50 yards from here, so. Okay, that's a good sign then. Looks like some good blood, huh? Yeah, definitely tore him up with that. That's yes, sir. Sure. Cole and I are following this blood trail and it didn't take long and we look up and there he is. Oh, you see this beautiful black bear. <laughs> good gosh, Appreciate buddy. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, check him out here. Yeah. See if we can move him. Go up there and grab his head. I don't know how much he... <laughs> How much he weighs, but it's uh oh my goodness. Oh yeah. He is a toad, that is for sure. How about <laughs> that for a black bear? I would say he's a once in a lifetime bear. That's what I'm thinking too. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah. Saskatchewan grows him big. Yeah. 
Yeah. And he's got a nice hide on him too. Yeah, really thick, not rubbed at all. Look at the meat claws on him. <laughs> Jeepers. <laughs> Beautiful bear. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, this thing is crazy. <laughs> I can't wait to see what we get into in the next couple of days because my dad's up next. I'm behind the camera. We're going to try to find ourselves another trophy class bear here in Saskatchewan. Ready to go? You betcha. All righty, we're going to head out to a new spot. There's a good bear on it, probably about the same size as Chris's big black one. Then there's also uh, probably about 280 pound blonde on there. Cool. Hopefully they'll come in for you guys tonight. Can't wait. Should be a good hunt. It's gonna be exciting. Hopefully it'll be as epic as it was last night. Yeah, right on. Let's go. When we're looking for places to put out bear baits, we like really thick cover for them because it's cooler in there. And if we can find it by water source, that's even better because bears like to travel along water sources. And this bait is in that location, so there should be some bears moving around tonight. Okay, we just got set up in the stand as the guys were tying up that beaver. There was a bear that walked right behind us here. <laughs> we weren't even set up, we barely got out the four wheelers. I have a feeling the action could happen fairly quick tonight. From the time we sat down, it was non-stop bear action. I mean, I've never experienced anything like that. I probably never will again. They don't decide to climb up our tree. Otherwise, this wouldn't be fun. I mean, we had some beautiful black trophy class bear come in that night and I did not shoot because I just wanted to just see that blonde bear just once, just to see what it looked like. And it never happened and I ended up just watching the show that developed around us. I mean, it was just bear after bear and it, to experience something like that was unbelievable. <laughs> I think he was a bit crazy for passing up all those bears, but it was an incredible night for him. It's the end of the first day sit for me. We had numerous close encounters. We did see a lot of bears. So we'll probably be here again tomorrow and we'll see what happens. Looking forward to it. Second night in the stand and uh, last night was epic. I mean, this is the first time I've ever seen this many bears bear hunting. I think you're pretty crazy for not shooting one of them, that's for sure. Pretty good bears, I believe. At least this way, I, you know, you got an idea what's coming in and now yeah. we know what I should be shooting and yeah. hopefully tonight we can get a trophy. Let's go. Yeah, should be a good hunt. Uh, right now we came into this bait and uh, everything was cleaned up. 
and they're uh, wiring up a beaver to the tree and they already filled the barrel full of nuts and put a little peanut butter on top of it. We also put a little pile right out here hoping that if one of the good bears come in he'll stop there and maybe eat that and give me a perfect broadside shot. All right, we're all set. Good luck, buddy. All right. <laughs> Let's get her done. Yeah. So we're sitting there and nothing, nothing comes out. It's quiet. All there is is ravens making noises. And it's getting five o'clock, six o'clock, 6.30. And about probably a little bit before seven, I just happened to look to the one side of me and there was the blonde bear. I could not believe it. Bonnie. I never really felt comfortable because he just never really gave me that broadside shot. And he turned and he started walking toward back towards where the sow had gone and he just walked out of the area and followed her and we're like, we just really messed up. I mean, here we had this beautiful boar in front of us and I did not take him. The spring rut is going on right now. And that boar was definitely with that blonde sow. She must have been an estrus. He was definitely a big boar. It wasn't. Probably five minutes later, we noticed there was another black bear behind us again. And he kind of worked his way around. And right away, we're both thinking, well, that's the same bear. Maybe he lost the sow when she walked away. And he came in right at us. And this big boar comes walking out and walks right underneath and starts walking the bait. And I think I even asked Chris, you know, is that the same bear? And both of us thought, that's the same boar. I got pulled back. He kind of took a step forward with his right paw and just opened up that chest, but it was kind of angling away. But I mean, on a bear, that's just a perfect shot. Right there, buddy. Wow. Congratulations. Back up a bear. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good bear right there, eh? <laughs> wow.
That's what you come to Saskatchewan for. Yeah. Didn't know you shot the one with the white chevron. Neither did we. Yeah. I mean, he walked right underneath us, and I just knew he was good bear, but we got one of the bears we came after. I mean, we seen this bear last night, and he was on the hit list, and we didn't know we had gotten him until now. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I guess now we know what exactly he is. Yeah. If you guys want to come and book an amazing Saskatchewan hunt, make sure you look up these guys. Our guides have been great. They've put us on these bears. Buck Paradise Outfitters, Saskatchewan. <laughs> and they do grow big bears up here. And we did see some color phases, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Get up here, do some bear hunting, do some deer hunting, shoot some waterfowl, can't go wrong.